I don't know about you, but one of my favorite snacks to have on a hot summer day at the beach is definitely fruit, especially pineapple. Most of our pineapple comes from Costa Rica, but you can also find pineapple in Latin America and Africa. For this project, we are going to be painting with watercolors a colorful pineapple. Really, it doesn't need to look exactly like a pineapple, so get as creative as you want. Get as colorful as you want. Really, we just want it to resemble a pineapple and be a lot of fun. Of course, you do not need the exact supplies in this photograph. You can use any watercolor set you have, any paintbrush you have, and make sure you're working on a thick piece of paper. Throughout this project, I am going to be asking you to keep your supplies organized and also your thoughts. When we're looking at the color wheel, it's important that we're paying attention closely to how the color wheel is organized and how we will be blending will be based on the color wheel. If you have a watercolor palette that has water wells at the lid, it's important to fill those first with water. If you don't, then just make sure you're adding a couple drops to your watercolor palette. The watercolor color needs to have a little bit of moisture to it. A common mistake for beginning watercolor artists is thinking that we mix colors directly in our palette. And then you've probably seen, maybe at school, or maybe you've done it on accident yourself, but we get a really muddy yellow color or we get really muddy colors in general. That's because that is your pigment. It's meant to stay nice and pure. My yellow pigment should stay yellow for the entire project. If I wanna mix colors, I'm going to be mixing directly on my paper. So as you can see, this palette is really nice because I can take the pigment and add it to the water in my watercolor wells on my lid. If you don't have this, that's okay too. Just make sure you're keeping those colors nice and solid and we'll mix on our paper. I want to make sure my pineapple is nice and large and I'm leaving space at the top for the palm. So I'll place my palm at the top of my paper and then start about halfway down for my first row of dots. I suggest following the order that I am working with, but remember, you're always welcome to blend your own colors as we move through this project. First, start with your three yellow dots. Before I change color, it's important to rinse my brush so I don't have any yellow in my brush bristles and gently tap some of the water out. Then I'll move to my next color. I'm going to make a row underneath my yellow, making sure it's not directly underneath. I stagger and make sure it's a little to the left. Then I'm going to be placing four orange dots. Next, I'm going to be adding four red dots. These can go directly underneath the orange dots because the center of my pineapple is a little bit wider than the top and the bottom. Now this is important, we're following our color wheel. So if you need to go back in the video and pause, you can do that or just follow along. I'm going to be taking pink and directly blending with my red. Pink is really just a pigment of red, so it will blend really nicely. The technique we're using is called wet on wet. So sometimes I might just need to drop a tiny bit of wet watercolor into the already wet space and it'll blend on its own.
Now we are going back to our dots. I am going to be adding five purple dots. This might be a good idea to stagger again since I'm getting a little bit wider from the center of my pineapple. Now, if you still have room at the bottom of your paper, add your last row of dots. You'll be adding three green dots. You can use either light green or dark green or another shade of blue. I'll leave this up to you. Now we are going back to blending. So I'm going to mix a little bit of green into my blue row. Now add blue to my purple row. If you do not have a light green pigment, you can always add yellow to your green and you'll achieve the same color. Now there's some areas that I'd like to go back. So I'm gonna rinse my brush really well and then look at areas I wanna make a little darker. I might start adding a little bit more red into my orange since it's looking pretty light. If you get a little carried away and add way too much pigment to your paper, it could warp your paper or you could risk ripping your paper. So a good idea will be to make sure you erase that area. First, dry your brush off really well. Then take your dry brush and soak up some of that moisture. It won't erase completely, but it'll take some of that pigment away and then you can try again. Now for the palm. The palm grows straight out from the top of my pineapple and droops down towards the bottom of my paper. First, I'm going to take yellow, my lightest color, and take my paintbrush, holding it sort of like a pencil so I have a lot of control, and first start by pulling up for the top of my pineapple palm. Then take my paintbrush out and towards the bottom of my paper. You can add as many palms as you'd like, Really, it's up to you how many you wanna add. You can look at a reference photo or just follow along. Next, I am going to be adding my light green. Green is next to yellow on the color wheel, so it'll blend really nicely with the wet on wet technique. Now I'm going to be adding a little bit of dark green to the bottom of my pineapple palm and you can always make sure it's dry first and then add the green or keep going with the wet on wet technique. I'll leave this up to you. Now my pineapple needs to dry, so in the meantime, I'm gonna try out making another one. Using the same technique as our first project, I'm going to use different colors to make another pineapple.
Since this project is just for fun, practice different types of blending. Maybe use different colors together. Don't follow your color wheel and break the rules a little bit. Really, this is all up to you, so have fun with it. I'm going to be using a little bit of orange in my yellow, but I also might try and see what happens when I mix orange with another color. If you need space in your watercolor wells to make another color or to change out colors, you can take your paper towel and twist it into the well until you soak up some of that pigment. What I'm trying to do is get my nice bright yellow back and it's going to be really difficult with dirty water. So I clean out my water, soak up the well again, and then try again with clean water. That way I can get a nice bright yellow pigment for my palm. This time, I let the first layer dry, and I'm going to try and add a darker layer on the dry part of my palm. Using a little bit of orange and red, I'm going to add color to the bottom of each palm. That way it looks a little bit like a shadow. Once both of my projects are dry, I'm ready to start outlining. Taking a sharpie, I'm going to carefully outline all of my dots and my palm. When you're all finished, you can autograph the bottom corner with a Sharpie or a pencil or even watercolor paint. I can't wait to see what you created. Please feel free to share with Peak Academics and I'll see you next time.